Hey, hey, fellow YouTubers. It's kind of sunny. Hope you guys don't mind if I put my sunglasses on. But, um... You know, in the Bible, it talks a lot about angels taking the form of humans. And a lot of times it's a test to see if you're gonna invite them in to offer them some water, or if you're going to give them some change when they ask you for some change. And so I think we all need to be very careful. But if, if someone were to ask me, is there ever a time when you clearly, when you think you may have met an angel? And I would say yes. And that's, um, I'm up here in um, the mountains where I love to come. And I was up here just feeling so, so down in the dumps because, um, you know, divorce, when you have children, it's just so rough. Especially when you know that you could instill in them a love of Jesus and raise them with um, church in their life and the Bible and scripture and you know the other family is not going to do that. It doesn't even care about meeting their needs, their most primal essential needs. So the courts sided in her favor because the kids were young. It's California, that's what you're going to get. And I knew that I could provide a holier, more righteous upbringing involving the Bible and, and Mass on Sundays and Sunday school or Catholic school, whichever is um, affordable. But um, so I was just down in the dumps. I saw the whole future of my life and my kids' lives being more affected by that way of life and that family than my own. And all I ever wanted to be was a, a, a parent and a good parent. That's all, as early as I was as childhood. Well, I also wanted to be a professional baseball player for quite a few years until my brother dashed those dreams at age 10. But um, <laughs> I really, really was distraught. So I'm up here riding my Kawasaki Vulcan Mean Streak, kind of a wannabe Harley. It's a cruiser. And I would I would take, before that I would take my, um, I would take motorcycles on dirt roads just to get away from the concrete and to get as much into God's country as possible. So I'm doing that and I'm, I hate to admit it, I'm inebri inebriated. I'm a little bit under the influence to where it was noticeable if you spoke to me. So I'm up there and out of nowhere I meet this old biker, big gray beard, leather jacket, and we start to talk. He can tell that I'm inebriated and he was very, very gentle in the way that he was talking about like the sanctity of our lives and how we have to go through the, the good and the bad to finish the race. And um, I'll never forget this guy because I was doing a lot of stupid things around that time. I took this same motorcycle out to Las Vegas once and was drinking before I went in the casino, was drinking in the casino, was drinking after the casino, and then I decided to get on my motorcycle and ride down the highway. And I just remember just like swerving all over the place at like, you know, 75 miles an hour, 80 miles an hour. And um, I made it home somehow. And I didn't, didn't even get a ticket. I was doing stupid things. I just, I was there. I was at the rock bottom. And those words of wisdom, I didn't care. 
I just simply didn't care about anything anymore. And lo and behold, here I am like some 25 years later and I'm still holding it together. I'm, I'm better at, at um, being righteous than I've ever been. But I'm not, I'm not where I need to be. I'm not where I should be. But um, I think that that guy may have been an angel. So as one believer to another, just remember that when someone comes and asks you for a dollar or for some change, you never know, it could be an angel. Whenever some old guy comes up out of nowhere and is giving you words of wisdom that just ring true, you could be talking to an angel. So on that note, here's my turn off for my country road to my mountain habitat. <laughs> Anyways, God bless. Hope everyone's doing well, holding it together because this, um, you know, this religious lifestyle isn't easy. You know, it's a dichotomy because in some places Jesus says, I am gentle and my yoke is light. But in other places he's saying, you know, pick up your cross, be willing to suffer daily, pick up your cross every day and, and be ready for what's coming. Because when you're a Christian, life is not going to be easy for you. So I hope you guys are being good Christians and making sure that, you know, we need in this day and age where there's mass shootings and our leaders are just so two-faced, we need more than ever to minister. We need to be bold and we need to be courageous talking about our belief in Jesus and our love for Jesus and how good he is. Amen. God bless.